be naked with a friend in bed an hour or more, not meaning any harm. I'm naked in bed, Iago, and not mean harm. There's hypocrisy against the devil. If they do nothing, tis a venial slip. But if I give my wife a handkerchief... What then? Why then, my lord, tis hers. And being hers, she may, I think, bestow it on any man. She is protectress of her honor, too. May she give that. Her honor's an essence that's not seen. They have it very often, have it not. But for the handkerchief... Oh, by heaven, I would most gladly have forgot it. Thou said he had my handkerchief. Aye, what of that? It's not so good now. What if I said I had seen him do you wrong, or heard him say... Have he said anything? He hath, my lord. But be you well assured, no more than he'll unswear. What hath he said? Faith that he did... I know not what he did. What? What? Lie! With her. With her. On her. What you will. Lie with her. Lie on her. We say lie on her when they be lying. Lie with her. Salute its spells of confessions. Make it confessions. Noses. Yes. in work. Thus credulous fools are caught. And many worthy and chaste dames, even thus, all guiltless meet reproach. How, how now, my lord? How now, my lord? I say a fellow! What's the matter? How now, Cassio? My lord has fallen into an epilepsy. This is the second fit he had one yesterday. Well, rub him about the temple. No, forbear! The lethargy must have its quiet course. If not, he foams at the mouth and by and by breaks out to savage madness. Look, he stirs. Do you but withdraw yourself a little while. He will recover straight. When he is gone, I would on great occasion speak with you. Oh. Now, now, General, have you not hurt your head? Don't mock me. I mock you. By heaven! Would you bear your fortune like a man? Uh, a hard man's a monster. And a beast. <laughs> There's many a beast then in a popular city, and many a civil monster. Uh, Lord wise. It's a certain. While you were here, overwhelmed with your grief, Cassio came hither. Oh. I shifted him away and laid good excuses upon your ecstasy. Bade him anon return and here speak with me, the which he promised. You but encave yourself and mark the fleers, the jibes, and notable scorns that dwell in every region of his face. For I will make him tell the tale anew where, how, how oft, how long ago. And when he hath and is again to cope your wife. I say but mark the gesture. Will you withdraw? Question K. 
Cassio of Bianca. It is a creature that dotes on Cassio. Tis a strumpet's curse to beguile many and be beguiled by one. He, when he hears of her, cannot refrain from excess of laughter. Here he comes. <clears throat> How do you, Lieutenant? The worst of that, you give me the addition who's wanting and kills me. <laughs> Ply, Desdemona well, and you are sure, Aunt. Now, if this suit lay in Bianca's time, <laughs> how quickly should you speed, uh, eh? Alas, poor Cadiff. Look uh, at you laugh, Sir Reddy. I never knew a woman love man so. <laughs> alas, poor rogue. I think in faith she loves me. <laughs> uh, denies it greatly, alas. Uh, faith, the cry goes that you shall marry her. Do you intend it? Uh, uh, I? Marry her? What, a customer? Oh! <laughs> Pretty bare charity to my wit. Do not think it's so unwholesome. Faith, the cry goes that you shall marry her. Pretty say true. Uh, I am a very villain else. <laughs> that is the monkey's own giving out. She is persuaded I will marry her out of her own love and flattery, not out of my promise. <laughs> yeah, she was here even now. Hmm? She haunts me in every place. I was just the other day on the sea bank, talking with certain Venetians, and thither comes the bobble. <laughs> By this hand, she hangs on my mm. neck, mm. so weeps and leans, so shakes and lulls. Oh. See that nose of yours, but not the talk of your daughter. Uh, in faith, I should leave her company. Huh. Before me, look where she comes. What make you this haunting of me? Let the devil and his damn haunt you! What did you mean by that same handkerchief that you gave me even now? I must take out the work. A likely piece of work that you should find it in your chamber and know not who left it there? This is some faces token, and I must take out the work. There. Give it your hobby horse. Wheresoever you had it, I'll take out no work on it. Oh no, my sweet Yaga. Oh no. I have that should be my handkerchief. If you'll come to supper tonight, you may. If not, come when you are next prepared for. After her! After her! In faith, I must. She'll rally in the streets else. <laughs> Will you sup then? In faith, I intend so. Don't you. Say no more. How shall I murder him, Iago? Did you see how he laughed at his vice? For Iago. And did you see the handkerchief? Was it mine? Yours, by this hand. Did you see how he prizes the foolish woman, your wife? She gave it him, and now he hath given it his whore. I will have him nine years of killing. A fair woman, a fine woman, a sweet woman. Nay, you must forget that. Oh, damn her. Let her rot in Paris, for she shall not live. No. My heart has turned to stone. I strike it, and it hurts my hand. The world hath not a sweeter creature. She may lie by an emperor's side and command him tasks. Nay, that's not your oh, way. Oh, hang her! I do but say what she is. <clears throat> so delicate with her needle. An admirable musician. Oh, she would sing the savageness from a bear. So high. Plenteous wit and invention. She's the worst for all this. Hey, certain. And of so gentle a condition. Aye, too gentle. A thousand, thousand times. But Iago. Iago, the pity of it, Iago. 
You are so fond over her iniquity. Give her patent to offend. For if it touch not you, it comes near nobody. Chop her into messes! Cuckle me! Oh, just foul in her. With mine officer! That's fouler. Give me some poison, Iago. This night, I'll not expostulate with her. Let her body and beauty and provide my mind again. This night, Iago. Do it not with poison. Strangle her in her bed, even the bed she hath contaminated. Good. Good. The justice of it pleases. Very good. And for Cassio, let me be his undertaker. You should hear more by midnight. Excellent. Good. What noise is that? Something from Venice, I warrant. <clears throat> God save you, worthy general. With all my heart, sir. The Duke and the Senators of Venice greet you. I kiss the instrument of their pleasure. And what's the news with you, good cousin Lodovico? Very glad to see you, sir. I Welcome. Think, I thank you. How does uh, Lieutenant Cassio? Lives, sir. Cousin, there's a fall in between him and my lord, an unkind breach. But you shall make all well. Are you sure of that? My lord? This fail you not to do. He's busy in the paper. Is there a division towards my lord and Cassio? A most unhappy one. I would do much to atone them for the love I bear to Cassio. Fire, Princeton! My lord? Are you wise? What? Is he angry? Maybe the letter will for as I think they do command him home to be in Cassio and his government. By my troth, I am glad on it. <laughs> Indeed. My lord? I am glad to see you, ma'am. Why? Sweet Othello. Oh. 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 I have not deserved this! My lord, this would not be believed in Venice, so I should try so I say very much. Make her amend, she weeps. Devil. Devil! If the earth would teem with women's tears, every drop she falls would prove a crocodile. What am I sight? I will not stay to offend you! Truly, in the beginning, like, I do beseech your lordship, pull her back. Mistress! My lord! What would you with her, sir? Who? I, my lord? I. You had wished that I had make her turn. And she can turn, and turn, and go on, and turn again. And she can weep. Sir, we, and she's obedient, <laughs> as you say, obedient, very obedient. <laughs> Proceed you in your tears. <laughs> Concerning this, sir, oh, well, painted passion. I am commanded home. Get you away, I'll send for you anon. I do obey the mandate to return to Venice. Henceforth! Cassio should have my place. And, sir, tonight I do entreat that we may sup together. You are welcome to Cyprus. Is this the noble one whom our full senate call all in all sufficient? Is this a nature whom passion could not shake? Whose solid virtue the shout of accident nor dart of chance could raise, raise nor pierce? He is much changed. I am sorry that I am deceived in him. 